How to use equals in a Jenkins pipeline. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.1. I've also set up a sample job, but before we take a look at that job, let's go take a look at the documentation for equals. We can see here for equals, what will happen is it will execute the stage when the expected value is equal to the actual value. So what we see in this example is when equals expected to actual set to current build number. So if the current build number is two, then this when conditional would pass. Let's go take a look at our job and see how this actually works. So if we go into our job, we'll click on configure, and let's take a look at the way that this is set up. So I have a first stage to where I'm just outputting all of the environment variables. Secondly, I've got the stage with the when equals. So in this case, I've got hard-coded A for expected and hard-coded A for actual. So if A equals A, then we expect to see the output of equals in our console log. Let's click on save and click on build now. If we take a look at the output of number one, we can see that yes, we saw the equals show up in our log. Let's go modify the job real quick and take a look at what happens when they don't equal. So we'll change the actual to B even though we are expecting a. So we'll click on save and click on build now. We'll see on the output of two that the stage was skipped due to the when conditional. Completely expected because A does not equal B. But we don't have to use just static values within our expected and actual. We can either put in references to environment variables, parameters, or even computed fields. Let's assume for a moment we want to test out an environment variable. So if we were to go back up and take a look in our environment variable listing, we can see that the build ID for this last run was two. So we would expect it to be a value of three when we run the job again. So we're going to modify the job and expect a value of three for environment variable build underscore ID. So let's modify the job, click on configure. We'll change the expected value to three when the actual is env dot build underscore ID. Let's click on save and click on build now. If we take a look at the output for job run three, we can see our build ID is three, but when we take a look at the bottom, we can see that the stage was skipped due to the win conditional. Well, why is that? We did have a build ID of three. When we are accessing the values from the environment variables, those values are strings and not integers. So in order for this to work, we need to change our expected value to a string value, and then we will be able to run the job. So we just ran three, it skip the stage, which is exactly what should have happened. But now let's change it to four and do the test again. So we'll click on save, click on build now. And then for four, since the value from the environment variable of build ID was four and the string value of the expected was also four, then the stage ran. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not take a moment Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.